Your Toyota Mirai Specific Intune app has an Intune H2 Fuel Finder app. The Intune app must be installed on your phone and then in your vehicle to use it on the vehicle's display. The app can help you find hydrogen fueling stations, view their current status, and get directions. When you're on the road, remember a station may be open but could be offline. Be sure the station you choose is online. When you arrive at your station, refueling your Toyota Mirai is a little different than using a gasoline pump, but it isn't complicated. For safety reasons, do not smoke or use your phone when fueling your Mirai. Modern hydrogen dispensers and the Toyota Mirai are equipped with infrared technology. This allows the station to communicate with the vehicle to help ensure optimal filling. Most hydrogen stations have two different fuel pressures, H35 for a half tank and H70 for a full tank. The Toyota Mirai can accommodate both. However, H70 is recommended for a complete refuel and H35 should be used as your second option. Be aware, many stations offer both H70 and H35 from the same dispenser. Others have dedicated dispensers based on fuel pressure, so look closely. To begin, be sure your vehicle is off, the transmission is in park, and the parking brake is set. Then, press the fuel door button to unlock the fuel door. The fuel door will automatically relock if you don't open it shortly after pressing the fuel door button. To open the fuel door, push on the right side of it. Remove the dust cap and place it on the holder. Now you'll need to activate the dispenser. There are a couple of different types, but all have similar operations. Some stations will require you to watch a training video and obtain a code ID the first time at that station. Other stations will provide step-by-step -step instructions during the entire fueling process, regardless of how you answer the question, have you been trained to use this equipment? Insert your payment card and follow the on-screen instructions. You'll be prompted for the zip code to the payment card and whether you'd like a receipt after the fueling. Now you're ready to begin fueling. Remove the nozzle from the dispenser. Be careful not to lift the lever up when removing the nozzle. Inadvertently lifting the lever when removing the nozzle may require the fill process to be restarted. Place the H70 nozzle onto the receptacle until it's fully seated. Squeeze the hand grip until the latch is engaged. This locks the nozzle and receptacle together, but doesn't begin dispensing fuel. Next, gently pull back on the nozzle to make sure it's locked and securely attached. Be careful not to squeeze or contact the hand grip or release the latch when checking if the nozzle is secure. It could unlock the nozzle. Once you've confirmed the nozzle and receptacle are securely connected, lift the lever and press the H70 button to begin fueling. It's normal for brief pauses to occur during fuel dispensing as H70 dispensers perform leak checks on the dispenser, hose, and nozzle connection to the vehicle. During fueling, it's also normal to hear hissing and pump noises from the dispenser, which is maintaining the appropriate fueling pressure with your vehicle. If you'd like to stop the fueling at any time, simply lower the lever at the dispenser. The dispenser will also automatically stop fueling when your tank is full. After fueling is complete, lower the lever. Pull the latch on the hand grip to unlock the nozzle and replace the nozzle back on the dispenser. If the nozzle can't be removed, it may be temporarily frozen to the vehicle. Do not try to remove the nozzle forcibly or you could cause damage to the vehicle or dispenser. Wait a few seconds for it to thaw and try again to remove it. Then place the dust cap back on the receptacle, close the fuel door and fueling is complete. For a list and map of Toyota-approved hydrogen fuel stations that are now currently open and the ones opening in the near future, check out toyota.com. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are at a turning point in automobile history, a turning point where people will embrace a new environmentally friendly car.